Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing and kind of like a try on. So basically we're going to be unboxing all the new products that I got for the month of November. But if you guys would like to see what I got in November's box, see if we got the same stuff, maybe not, maybe a little bit of different variety, then just please keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is what BoxyCharm box looks like. It's just a standard box, it has BoxyCharm on it. And then when you open it up, um, usually sometimes I'll have something cute up here um, and then you'll kind of get into all the products but um, kind of like what this I don't think there's like a I don't think there's like a theme to this box it just says stellar um, and then it just has um, the products what are inside this box um, so kind of right off the bat uh, we have these Tula skincare star bright nourishing and brightening cause medic hydro mask I've heard mixed reviews about Tula skincare the reason why because I think some influencers have like codes with them and some people are like oh they're just throwing out codes so they can get money but I will say that there is a couple Tula products that I have used personally that I actually do like um, but maybe this one might be a new addition to my little stash. So the next we have up are these um, BoxyCharm brushes. I'm not sure, I don't think these are like any type of like special kind of brushes. I think these are just like BoxyCharm just like flapped their like name on them. Almost like those like artiste brushes, but I'll give you guys a closer look. But like I said, they're just standard, um, kind of almost like foundation brushes. But like I said, it definitely has that vibe of a artiste brush. But this is a pretty vulgar, undercover lightweight concealer and I have a couple of shades here um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use these on camera with you guys with the brushes or try to use what you know what I got in the bar in the box to use on my face um, so um, this will be really exciting I've never tried anything from pretty vulgar so we'll see how it works out okay so next up we have this dose of colors liquid matte liquid no, liquid matte lipstick my tongue is getting like tight already we're gonna, like not even halfway through this video but i got it in the shade nude mood it looks really cute Ooh, this is like a pretty like like nudie color and it smells really yummy Ooh, this is a really pretty color it's almost like that dusty rose like just basic like nude you know uh, everyday nude color so that's really cute and this is kind of like what the this is what the lipstick looks like. You guys don't have, don't own any dose of color liquid lipsticks. Now, this product in particular, I was really, 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 really excited for. Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. Um, I think this is like a mini version of her bigger palette because I was like, I don't think they threw her whole entire palette because I looked on her website. And these colors are so stinking gorgeous. So. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very nice, very like celestial. Um, this is what the back looks like. Um, not if you guys care what the back looks like, but um, these are these are what the colors look like. Very like a lot of fun different looks that you guys can kind of do with this. Our last product is this Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Eye Trim. Because girl, I can use all the eye trim in the world. Sometimes I feel like it's a gimmick. Um, I don't know. Let me guys let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think eye treatments really, really, really do work? I've always wanted to do like the Botox, or I believe it's Botox, um, where they put it like in, you know, right here with the. I want to say it helps with the fine lines, um, and I want to say also with the darkness. So this is what the product looks like. I believe you just kind of push it in, and the product comes out. So we're just gonna. Okay, all right. So it says to, I will say that I do like products that are like this and it kind of like, it's almost like a little like massage for underneath the eye, especially if you're having some puffiness. I will say that this is pretty easy to use. Um, you really don't have to use a ton of product. Hopefully this doesn't affect my makeup, but it does so you can use it morning and night. So if you are using this in the morning, then I guess we'll see how it affects the concealer or anything around it. So um, I will continue to use this to see if it helps with wrinkles and you know, all that stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like fast through this and you guys, I'll talk about it once I'm done with my makeup and tell you guys if I think the brushes are, are cool or not.
Okay, so, so far with the foundation, I will honestly say that the product really didn't get into the brush. I didn't apply it the foundation on top of the brush. I'm most of my just kind of put on my face, like dotted around and then kind of blend out. Those are my thoughts on that so far of the brushes. Um, like I said, I will keep continuing to use them, but I think I'm gonna try to use this for the concealer. I'm gonna try. Um, but I'm gonna use the, like I said, the pretty vulgar little sample that I got. I don't know. It's kind of dark. I think, I think it'll work. Concealer wise, I mean, it's concealing. I mean, it's not like anything that's like full coverage or anything like that. Um, I kind of, it's not, it's, I feel like it might be a little bit too dark or it might be just almost the exact same color from my foundation. But I will say that it blends very, 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 very easily. So there's that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll um, do the rest of my face, so like powders and stuff like that, and then we'll come back for the eyes. And let's get a little bit creative for the eyes. Alrighty guys, so my face is pretty much complete. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lips, prime my lids off camera, and then also went ahead and put the lipstick on. I'm not the hugest fan of this color. I feel like it kind of washes me out just a little bit. Um, maybe it'll kind of everything will pull together once I have like my eyes and stuff like that and lashes and you know the whole shebang. Okay, so the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is Lunar Eclipse, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna kind of put this color into my crease and just kind of, you know, blow it up and stuff like that, so. Well, this color is really pretty. It's a very, there's a lot of pigment into this color. There's a tiny bit of fallout into the pan, but it's performing pretty good on the eye and it's blown out really, really, really nicely. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a different brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade, like literally right next to it with Storm Dust. Um, it's kind of like a more like, almost like a little bit more of a chocolatey orange. Now I will say that these two shades, for some reason on my eye, I feel like they're almost the same. Like, hmm. Like there's no like, like I feel like there's no contrast in be between the two shades. Like it's almost like the same shape, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm not, I'm not the hugest fan of it, but I don't know. I don't know guys, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep on rolling with it. We're just gonna keep on with this. We're not gonna stop here. But I think what I'm gonna do next is use an um, Eternal Light, which is this shade right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my finger. And I'm just gonna put this like like pretty much on the top of my eyelid. Okay, well that's pretty. I don't know, I'm a sucker for glitter, honestly. And in that glitters or shimmers, I'm a sucker for it. It's almost like a very light sparkle. Like the way like the sparkles are like shining, like reflecting off of the light. It's just like a soft light. Like it's nothing too like overwhelming if that makes sense. Like it's nothing like, oh my God, like I have this obvious glitter on my eyelid, you know what I mean? So with the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, Lunar Eclipse. But like I said, I wanted to make this fun, so I'm gonna go out and with Lucid Dream, which is like that purple, like magenta color. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna coat it nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my eyes. Um, kind of give you guys my final thoughts on all the products. If I really do think that if this much of a box of charm was worth the money. So let me go ahead and fix this side, put some lashes on, put some liner on, and we'll be pretty much almost done with this video. So this look is complete. Now let's go ahead and talk about the products in the moment, what I think about them right this moment. So first we're gonna start with the Juice Beauty, the anti-wrinkle eye treatment. So 
I mean, I, I can't see like a super like big difference in my wrinkles, you know, my under eye area. But I will say that the concealer um, performed pretty well over it. Um, I blended it really nicely. So um, I will continue to keep using this product. And if it really does anything or like I said, if, you know, anti-wrinkle eye creams if they really do make a difference um but everyone has used this product before and it really did work let me know in the comments down below below because like this product just by itself is $50 so for $50 I better be do something so that is that and like I said two less skincare masks I'll go ahead and use these in the future um I might bring this out um I kind of have a stash of products that I'm skincare makeup pretty much like anything that's like beauty related related um I have like this like bin that I kind of want to talk about before the end of the year just kind of products that I've used throughout this year kind of what I think about them if I'm gonna buy them in 2020 which is really weird to say but um I'm gonna leave that for that video but I probably will use one either tonight or the next couple days Alrighty, so the third product um the dose of color lipstick i will say that now looking at it it's really like cr not say crease but it's like it's really creasy and it's kind of like not like a smooth application i will say now that it's like fully set um it's it's set it's not really going anywhere um but i will say that if you are have pretty wrinkly lips like i do um you're gonna see all of this. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you're gonna see all like the little lines and crevices that it's getting into. So not really care too much about that. The color, it kind of pulled together with the look. Um, but I think just if I was wearing this like almost like an everyday, like just like no makeup makeup look, I don't think this is my particular lipstick that I will pull and choose. But um, overall, I mean, it's a pretty color, but it's, I think it just might be a little bit too light for me. And what else, what else, what else, what else did we have? We had the brushes. Now, like I said before, um, these are kind of like remind me of the Artiste brushes. I don't think they're like wowed me or like, oh my God, like these are like amazing brushes. Um, like I said, I think these are cool brushes. Um, they're super soft. This one blended the concealer pretty well. I mean, the concealer itself blended nicely and just in general. Uh, Celestial Thunder eyeshadow palette. Now. I will say when I was doing this eye, I felt like the colors were working better. I'm not sure what was going on with this eye, but I will say if you do blend these two orangey, this brownie color together, it's kind of almost going to form into like just one solid color. You're not going to have this kind of like super warm and then like a little bit of death to the eye. Just my opinion. Um, but overall, like the aesthetic of the palette, it's super duper pretty. Um, the magenta blend out really nice i i would say just from what i used today i really like these two colors right here so internal light and then lucid dream was really pretty formula is great everything blended very nicely but i just think those two colors if you're trying to have some type of like warmth and then a tiny bit of depth it's just kind of kind of blend into just kind of like the same color and it's just not gonna look that pretty so those are my thoughts on that yeah that's pretty much it for the entire box and like i said i will leave like what the value of the box was um so for pretty much for 21 dollars you get all these cool products so i'm kind of excited what is gonna be for next month's box let me know in the comments down below what you got in your box each time this month did you like it did you hate it let me know let's talk about it um, and also did we get the same products? So I know sometimes I'll see other people's boxes. It's kind of like the same, but it's like a little bit of different products or like instead of this color lipstick, you got like a different type of lipstick. So um, I'm pretty happy with this box so far. I will say that what products will I continue to use in this box? Probably the eyeshadow palette. And then this I'm going to add to my vanity tonight and I will use the um, Tula mask. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.